Hey everybody, I wanted to start this off by just introducing you to what I hope to make this channel into. I actually used to make videos a while back and I ended up having to drop that off due to some personal issues that were going on in my life, but I'm hoping to start up again here now, um, highlighting my new passion in life. And that is actually going to be welding and metalwork, and on the side probably some arts and crafts because I also do way too much of that in my free time. I have an entire cabinet in my room that is filled with glaze, beads, yarn. Uh, there's, there's a lot for me to work with. Um, but yeah, starting actually off right away, uh, you can see this here, which I'm not that proud of because there was an issue with the TIG machine I was using. <laughs> so hopefully the arts and welds and stuff I will be showing you Later on, uh, with different videos, will be much nicer looking than these. I will do my best to avoid situations like this because this is not good to look at. This one you can see is actually a bit better. It was a lot smoother here. There was some porosity though at the beginning. So overall I was not entirely content with this piece. I was really happy with the design. Um, as you might see from this video, I mean, my profile picture is actually a picture of one of these that I made, but with purple yarn. This is all laser cut. The design was handmade though. I do make my designs from scratch, uh, I sketch them all out, I create the programming for them, and then I, I program the laser to cut it for me, and then I weld it all up, I, I smooth it down, and I, I wrap it up. So that's how I do my projects. That's just and I know, another brief overview, like I said, I wanted to give for what I hope to cover. You actually see where I tacked it on the other side to keep it in place. Probably could ground that down a bit more so it didn't show. These videos will probably highlight a lot of my processes. Uh, I'll do stuff from the sketches I'm making to times when I'm actually programming the machines. I might do some live videos at times for input on designs I should do. I'm actually working on uh, my business venture with this at the same time. Here's some heat from the laser, actually, that was with the laser got. Well, uh, points are a little bit difficult to do with lasers at time if the, uh, heat output is too high, it'll burn the metal like that. I kind of actually left it there as an example for what can happen, though for other points you can see it, was, it wasn't it was as bad. There was some issues actually up here before, over here at these little edges, but it's actually easily ground off, so. Yeah, now you can see some of my other projects I was working on over there. I just had some yarn stuff going on. I make small tubes for my hedgehog. They're all hand knit tubes that she will tunnel through. So I'll I'll do a video probably too with with the hedgehog, doing her thing. She she's fun to watch at times. <laughs> Either way though, the, this this channel hopefully is going to be a lot of a lot of the art stuff, a lot of the, and, and a lot of uh, talking with you guys when you want to. I am not sure if I'm going to break into some of the other creative grounds that exist already, uh, but I just wanted to be able to highlight what I will be doing here with, with my uh, future plans and what I hope to make into an interesting interesting time. More of my videos in the future will be out in my garage, in my actual workspace. This is my room, obviously. Well, I shouldn't say obviously because you could have no idea where I am. But this is within my house, um, in my room. During the winter time, it gets a bit difficult to be able to record and work and film outside. Because I have limited heat and limited ventilation, and if I want heat, I have to open up the door a lot wider to prevent myself from suffocating from fumes. Uh, while I'm here, here's some of the other projects I've been making. This one is actually a total prototype. I'm not sure how I feel about it just yet. Um, it's got some awful text. This was not this was not a good day for the TIG machine I was using. There was a lot of gas issues. The the table wasn't grounding correctly, but I had to get it tacked together the best I could because I needed to take the pieces out together. And So this is another one of the designs I'd been working on. It's still a work in progress, more of a prototype than anything else. But yeah, you can see what I was saying there about the tacks. I mean, those those welds are not good. I'm not, not pleased with those by any means, but they're holding it together for what I need it to be for right now. So in the future, the ones I make based off of this will be a lot cleaner, probably more polished up, more designs. I'll probably be doing more etching, which I may be doing by hand. I do have Dremel tools and whatnot to etch with. I also have smaller ones that I'm much prouder of. Uh, these are smaller home deco designs I do. Uh, these ones are all uh, tigged to this color, actually. It's all heat and uh, arc strikes on this piece. I polish up the rest of it 
make sure it's all welded in place, and then I hold the TIG gun just far enough to wait to arc strike it. So that's what I do with these, and I was actually really pleased with how these designs turned out, so I have a couple different things I've made like that, where you can see the tail is the accent piece on this one, and this is actually probably one of my favorite ones, so I've made made quite a few of these ones, and I do different yarn colors depending on what I'm looking at, but... So that's just, you know, a collection of some of the stuff here. Some of the stuff... <laughs> It's been a long day. Some of the stuff I've made, um, I do make more handmade stuff though in my garage. This laser stuff is is made when I have access to a laser, which is usually through my courses currently. But when I'm not using a laser, I do a lot of hand sculpture work. I do a lot of recycled materials. Uh, I do quite a bit of uh, material bending into shapes I need and that's that's a whole different process than what I'm doing here for these because these ones since I can just write up a program and have a machine cut them for me it's it's a lot easier now I don't like to say so I mean I do have while I'm here I do laser work and I know people sometimes have kind of a negative view on using a laser to cut projects because they believe it's not really that artistic when it comes to a machine cutting it for you the thing is, is that I make all my own designs for this. I, yeah, a machine is cutting it out for me, so I'm not doing the work for the actual cutting itself, but I am doing the work for the drawings, the codes that I need to put in for, for it to be able to do that, the design in the programs, transferring it over, and then setting up the machine to cut it. There is also, obviously, the work afterwards here that I'm doing with the yarn, which, again, I guess people would say might not be a ton of work, but it is still art. <laughs> and... So yeah, I, I do this, and then I also do the handwork stuff, which is which is all hand plasma cut stuff. So when you see a smooth edge like this, you can probably assume it's going to be laser cut. If you see one of my designs has more of a jagged edge, uh, if I wasn't able to smooth it down with a grinder, very thin grinder that I don't always have access to, then you can assume that it was plasma cut. I do try to make, I am working on making my plasma cuts much smoother, because it is more difficult to get them to be nice and smooth like a laser. It's obviously not going to be as feasible as the laser will since the laser is machine controlled so it knows what it's doing slowly well slowly quickly it knows what it's doing that's the point i on the other hand i'm not an autom auto i need to stop trying to use certain words on a day like this i am not a machine so my plasma cuts will not be pristine and clean like like these i can i can get things cut pretty nicely but my handmade stuff is a different form of art than what these ones are. So you'll be seeing a mixture of these on this channel probably, and a lot of it will be me out in the actual garage working. So. <laughs> and I will have times when I'll ask you guys for opinions on what you might like to see, what you might like to see me talk about. I'll do work on different processes that I have, some of the ways that I've learned to weld. I can tell you about how I got into what I do and what I'm doing now with myself. I do hope it'll be a fun, kind of interesting experience for some people. I know it's not um, the most amusing thing. Uh, this video here, just talking and, you know, pointing to my art here, but it was just, I just wanted to give a brief overview on some of the things I have here, what I'm hoping to do, just some of the knowledge I already have on things, some of my opinions on some of these things. Can I say things more, more like, constantly? I mean, I could talk an entire video about how sometimes if I polish, polish these, I need to spray it with a better coat to keep it from doing this. Because I polished these four or five months ago, and they're just now starting to have some minor rust, which isn't bad. But I'm going to need to hit that with a grinder again, or polish polishing pad, and then probably seal those up to prevent them from happening in the future. Obviously not that part, though, because I want them to stay that way. So tutorials, probably um, just discussions overviews of what I've done. There might be times where I'm featuring my hedgehog because people like to see her and <laughs> she's she's fun to play with and she, she does have an interest for shiny things so she, she might stroll along in some of the videos. Either way, thank you so much for, you know, clicking on this, listening to me ramble for a while. I do hope you'll stick around. Uh, hopefully this might interest you. Hopefully I can I can do something more with this. I will have an actual camera doing some of my work here. I'm using my phone to film this one because my current camera is out of service. But I should have it up and ready by the time I start filming more stuff out in my garage and start filming actual processes and me working in person. <laughs> Thanks again for clicking this. Thanks again for watching. 
leave some feedback, comments. Uh, that's the same thing. <laughs> Likes or subscribes. I, I'm not really searching for anything specific right now. I'm just, I'm just, you know, here to talk and, and reach people if possible. Thanks again, guys. Have a great day and hope to see you in the future.